Imagine you are the guy on that chair. Imagine it. Imagine you are on that guy, the boss. You have everything to provide for the people. And every day, these people are lining up to you and ask you, this is what I want. I want this. I want a nicer car. I want a nicer house. I want this. I want this. Sometimes, and then this guy, being so lovely, loving, he provides things for people that comes to him. And then, what they do not know is that this man, this boss, has children. The children that are lost. The children that are being kidnapped by the enemy not know what they are doing with it. But then being heartbroken, he said that every day to meet the needs of people that are lining up. I think that's how we come to church or we come to God almost every time. God, this is what I want. This is what I want. And imagine, in this story, one guy from the line stood up and today I have decided not just to crumble these things that I list what I want and what I think I need. I'm throwing up to the ground. I just found out, boss, he's talking to the, the guy on the, 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 the chair. Boss, I just found out that you have children that have been kidnapped. Children that you've lost somewhere. Your heart is broken. I just found it out today. And I am today not asking for what I want or I need. I am asking today to send me to find your children. I'm here to, to, to meet your needs. Not... I'm not coming here for you to meet my need. And then imagine what this boss will do for that person. He will call his servants, come servants. Pick it up what he just threw. See his list. Make sure that he has all the list, all the things that he listed there. And also make sure that as he go out and look for my children, make sure that he has everything that he needs. Imagine today, as a Christians, we will move from, this is what I want to, God, what did you want me to do today? Who do you want me to talk to today? Is there anybody in my workplace that needs you, that needs encouragement from you? What if we just move from here to this place and say, God, instead of presenting him our agenda, early morning we go and ask him for the agenda from him. Well, how would it change the world? Because that's what I believe as Christians. We are not just coming to God for us to be mad, for our needs to be mad. We should come to God and God, what do you want me to do today? Where do you want me to go? I believe waiting on God is always great. Imagine if you were to walk from here to what I want to. Lord, what do you want me to do? I think we will accomplish this great commission. The Great Commission is possible with people like that, I believe. From here to this, Lord, what do you want me to do? What can I say today to this person? So the mission field is not far away. The mission is everywhere where you find unsaved souls. It could be in Florida. It could be in your work area. It could be in your neighborhood. So mission field is not that far away. God tells us go and where to go to the lost people. Not to any nation specifically, it's not mentioned. Just to the lost. Everywhere, anywhere the lost is. And then this is what I believe. Once, what matters to God becomes matter to us. Everything that matters to us will be matter to God. It's a little confusing, but I just came out with that one. When what matters to God, because what matters to God is the lost people matter to God. His heart is broken today. His heart is broken. His children somewhere are lost, being kidnapped, tortured by the enemy, not knowing their purpose, not knowing their creator, not knowing their savior. And then we are just sitting every day coming to God. God, this is what I need. I need a better one. I need a better one. I need a better one. I believe it's not where you live or how we live. It's why we live. If we know why we live, it doesn't matter what kind of house we have, what kind of country that we live in. It doesn't really matter. You have to know why you live where you live. We are here on earth with a mission to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ.